Hi, it's Amanda the Nail Polish Hound and welcome to this first update of my 100 nail polish challenge. And in this challenge I am wearing 100 untried nail polishes this year to decide whether I like them or not, whether they stay in my collection or whether they are de-stashed. This challenge was started by Julie, um, please have a look at her original video, I will link that in the description bar below. So the seventh untried polish that I tried this year was this beautiful polish by Emily de Molle. It is a lovely greyed out blue with a lot of gold flakes within it. Absolutely love this one on my nail. It was really beautiful um, in two coats, dries nice and quickly. Um, however, if you have nails like me that are prone to staining, then beware this polish will stain you if you're not careful. Um, you will need two to three base coats, um, otherwise you will end up with smurf nails. Despite this, I love the polish and it is definitely staying in my collection. I'll just be careful to double up on the base coat next time I wear it. The next untried polish that I wore was Snozberry by Cirque Colours and this beautiful burgundy Corelli jam packed full of flakies has been in a few of my videos recently and has become a favourite. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful in just two coats. You do have to be a little bit careful taking it off though, otherwise you're going to be picking those flakies out of your cuticles. I was a bit obsessed by this polish, as you can see by the number of swatch photos I took, and it is most definitely staying in my collection. Next we had limited edition number 163, also by Emily de Molly, and another beautiful flaky polish, this time in a more neutral base. This polish was two coats to become opaque. I absolutely love it and it is definitely staying in my collection. The next untried I wore was Scarab by Sally Hansen and this polish was given to me by George of George's Nails 83. Uh, this is a one coat wonder, it's very very pretty and I am definitely going to be keeping it. When I wore that polish though I did have a feeling that I had something similar so I went into dupe detective mode and went hunting for that polish um, and this is Sinful Colours Gorgeous and in the bottle they do look very similar and on the nail they look even more similar. The index finger and little finger here are the Sally Hansen polish and the middle two fingers are the Sinful Colours. The Sally Hansen has the better formula so I am definitely keeping that one and I will be de-stashing the Sinful Colours. But I digressed as the Sinful Colours was not an untried polish so that one will not be counting as part of my de-stash figures for this video. So back to the task at hand and here we have uh, Lustrious which is in an unnamed colour and oh my goodness I think this is the worst polish that I have worn in a very long time. It was thick, patchy, didn't self level, this one will be going straight into the bin. So as I was going to work I immediately covered that mess up with Sienna Rose off the market and this is a very pretty but sheer nail polish. Um, it just about managed to cover up the mess of the previous one um, but I don't think the colour really suits me and I don't normally wear sheer nail polishes anyway. Um, so this one will be de-stashed and given to a friend. Next we have Antique Gold by Barry M and this polish was gifted to me by them um, to use in nail art. So I have used this one but only in nail art on Instagram and never worn as a full mani. Um, I really loved this colour. It was very, very pretty. Uh, a bit of a chameleon polish. It looks purple in the bottle um, and a bit deeper red and a bit pink on the nail and that golden shimmer is really, really pretty. 
this is it in two coats on the nail and I will be keeping this nail polish. Here we have Moonlit Orchid by Ethereal Lacquer um, and more flakies again, I am loving my flaky polishes at the moment and this one is in a bubblegum pink base. Um, it's a little bit of an unusual pink colour for me to wear, I wasn't entirely certain how much I was going to like it um, but once it was on the nails I really did like this polish and I will be keeping it. Here you can see how it looks with two coats. Next is a polish that was sent to me from her D stash by Claire Gray um, and this is a beautiful polish by Catrice called Torp League. Um, I'm loving this sort of torpy colour at the moment and uh, I jumped on this one when she said she was D stashing it. This polish is two coats to become opaque on the nail and it will be staying in my nail polish collection. Next we have OPI's Feel the Chemistry and I swatched this polish when I first bought it and was quite disappointed because in the swatch pictures I had seen online it looked more red. Um, it's definitely, at least my bottle, is definitely more purple but now that I've worn it properly I do really love this polish and I will be keeping it. It has a stunning golden shimmer hidden in it, almost a little bit of a green there as well, you can see at the bottom of the bottle. Um, this has a flawless formula and is two easy coats on the nail. Next I wore Blue Velvet by Barry M and this is one of the Frosted Cupcake polishes. I did purchase these ones myself, they come in a set of four. I quite liked this polish on the nail um, but it is a little bit sheer and it took three coats to build up and I had already decided to de-stash two from this collection. So I decided to de-stash the other two as well so I could sell them on as a set. Then I decided to try another of the polishes sent to me by Claire Gray from her D-Stash. This is Heavy Metal by Sally Hansen. And I'd always really liked this when I saw her pictures of it on her Instagram. This polish is opaque in one to two easy coats. I loved it when I wore it as a manicure and I will definitely be keeping this polish. This is OPI's I Don't Give a Rotterdam and is a polish that I sought out a little while ago. Very keen to get this in my collection but I've never actually worn it before. So when I was doing a comparison of similar polishes this one came out and I finally wore it. I did really really like it. It's got a little bit of a gold or copper shimmer in it as well as the silver that makes it a little bit different. Um, so I will be keeping this nail polish and the pictures here you can see it worn in two coats. So the final untried for this particular update um, is Missouri's Clio and this was given to me by Nika of Nika's Naughty Nails. Um, this polish was four coats and still not quite opaque on my nails. You can still see a little bit of the nail line. I think on someone who's got perfect nails with no staining that this would look lovely in one to two coats for a little bit of a wash of colour and those pretty gold flakes but for me and my skin tone I'm afraid it didn't really suit me so I will be giving this one away to a friend. So in this update I have worn 14 untried polishes, I will be keeping 10 and de-stashing 4. Here are all the polishes that will be staying in my collection and here are the ones that are going to be de-stashed. In total for this project I have now worn 20 untried nail polishes of which I am keeping 11 and de-stashing 9. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have please like and subscribe and you will see me do another update on this when I've worn another 20 polishes.